Hello, morning everyone. In today's video, well, this is Dis Didsbury Art Studio. Oh, I'm getting this wrong. I'm Sally. And in today's video, we're going to be doing honeycomb smocking. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've got some really nice linen canvas a colour fabric. It's actually a curtain which I got from a charity shop but I think it's a good size. It'll be really nice to see whether we can get some small honeycomb smocking and increasing the scale. But yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is because I got an email this week from one of you guys saying could we have a go at using the honeycomb smocking and enlarging the actual diamond shape as we go further down the fabric. So Fingers crossed, I'm gonna give this a whirl. I don't know how it's gonna come out. I've not used this size fabric before, this smocking technique, so let's go. Hey, what's up with you? Hey, what you doing down there? Yeah, have you come in for some food? Have you? What do you want? What is it, Leila? You show me, you show me. Where are we going? Oh. You've gone up there. It is 53 inches across and 48 down. I've actually just measured from underneath where that curtain bit, the pole would go. So just underneath there, because I won't be able to do any smocking higher up. So now I'm just gonna put the grid on the front facing of the fabric. done every two inches across using my water erasable pen and five two inch spaces coming down and then I've done three inches space because I want to go wider with the honeycomb smocking as I go further down and I've taken that down to just above the end so I'm going to stop here and I've done the same obviously on that side with the dots it's difficult to see. Here we go. So I'm going to do the whole thing and we'll take a look at it once it's done. Whether you can actually see those little blue dots there. So I've done two inches down and then as I said, it moves into three inches. And I've literally done that all the way across the whole fabric. Curious day outside this morning, just to show you. Sun is shining. going retreat retreat no you can't be needing another snack so now what i'm doing got my upholstery thread because it's nice and strong and i've just done a length of it all the way across the fabric and further than my last dot over there so i'm going to make it a bit longer stretch it out and i'm just gonna cut it about here and i'm gonna do 14 lengths of it, pulled the neck curtain over her back. And she's just obsessed with, let's just have a look at what she's doing. Hi, Squirt. Hi. What are you watching? What are you watching? And just to say that I probably would have used this grid situation. I've got, I've got quite a few of these grids drawn out. 
they are really, really handy for sheer fabric, transparent fabric that you can just place on top underneath the fabric and you can just draw it out. But obviously I've just had to, because it's quite opaque fabric, so I've just had to draw out the dots. So what happens at this point is we're going to start here on the right hand side. I've threaded up my needle. I've popped a chunky knot at the opposite end to the needle. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sew along here the top dot. So I've gone underneath the fabric. Now I'm going to go over the fabric and, and I'm going to go and bring the needle up. So down there, like massive tacking stitches. So I'm really, really hoping that we're going to have some better weather over these next couple of days, even though we're back at work. Oh, can you see that? Let's bring you a bit forward. Huge stitches. So we go again. Down and bring the needle up. Down and bring the needle up. So it's up, down, up, down. Let's bring you over here. Till you reach over this side. Like so. I'm just gonna pull the needle up to end on the top there. So it looks like that. I've got a small amount of thread hanging off the end, but you could see that's what it looks like all the way across. And there's my knot over there. So we're gonna be pulling these stitches out later. So next up, I will go to the next dot along and the next one and you do the same stitching all the way across. So I've got rather a lot to do now, all the way down over here. So I'll pop you on a time lapse. Cats are the best, aren't they? Tabby cats. Tabby cats. Ooh. <laughs> right, I'm so nearly done here. How many have I got left to do? How many, Leila? Oh, still after it. Whoa. Whoa. Sally needs that. Sally needs that. I have got. One, two, three more bits to go. So what I'm finding is, are you watching now? Yeah, are you watching? Is you've really got to sort of scrunch the fabric up once you get quite far down. So it is going to crease. However, in a bit, I might well just give it a little bit of a once over with the iron. as it won't matter too much losing the water-soluble um, dots because they need to come out at some point anyway. And once all the sewing bit's done, that's fine. They've served their purpose. Maybe I should be making Layla toys with fabric. Noisy, scrunchy toys with textiles. Might be a winner, won't it? <laughs> She's got the cutest paws. Are you sure he has done? 
When we had her as a kitten, I don't know if you remember, she had the biggest paws and the longest legs and then this tiny head but huge ears. It was really cute. Really cute. What we do now is we grab hold of a couple of lengths of the threads because I've sewn all of the lines and we're just going to do a few at a time. Like, let's do four. And we're just going to push those, just push the fabric along and we can grab the next couple. And then the next couple. Just say this, but it is highly satisfying pulling those threads. Yeah. Pull those in. That's just really cool, just doing sections of it, isn't it? So sometimes I use fabrics, well, quite a lot of the time, as you can see, I use fabrics that are recycled. So it's often fabrics that I already have or that I get from charity shops or that people give me or not clothes that I don't want anymore. You know, it, it's a mixture of buying fabrics as well from shops. It's not always the fabric that I would want to choose. However, today I'm thinking that I quite like this neutral effect. I'm really into neutrals at the moment with clothes as well. It's really nice to just use this linen fabric, it's lovely. Look at the sculpting going on in there. I mean, if you wanted to keep this, and just use that for a dress. Let's just try it. That bit's sewn there. Oh, really heavy fabric. Pleating. Look at the pleating there. It's just gone really sculptural, hasn't it? So you could then sort of pull in and gather over here. Loving it. Nice. So you can play around with this actually. It's quite interesting just uh, sculpting with it. Look at that. So, so I'm just wondering what sort of thread to use to sew the actual honeycomb smocking. So I'm, I'm wondering whether to use the machine thread or to use the embroidery thread. Show you what colours I've got. So. Oops, a bit yellow. might work this one that's okay isn't it I'm gonna try it because I don't often use the embroidery threads to do the smocking with I'd forgotten what it's like when you're working with a lot of fabric it's quite unruly it's very very different because I kind of want to turn it that way but I know that the end's going to fall off the table so I'm going to have to keep it at the side like so and then I'm going to come up through the back here and then I'm going to just push the two bits of fabrics together and then go through, wow well, that is quite thick, through the two bits of linen, there we go. I'm going to go through that again. Now as you can see it's quite visual with the embroidery thread. So when I've done it before, I've often just used the machine thread because it's so small. But we're going to go with this. We're going to go with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my needle back down that side, pull it through like that. And then I'm going to make it easy. So I'm going to come up through the back. I'm at the same height there. It's not quite, so I'm going to take it back a little bit over to here. There we go. And then, 
squidge the two bits of fabrics together. Just want to make sure those are the right height. Yeah. And then I'm going to do two stitches. What I want to do is I want to pinch every other one on that next row like that. Just follow where the thread is and I'm going to be doing the same sort of stitches and it's a different. Um, so let's get cracking. I have sewn the second row. So you do every other one and it's starting to have that crisscross effect. If I do this next row, the third row down, it will start looking more like the honeycomb smocking, which is the diamond shape. That's what it looks like. And as I said, once we start this third row, it will start taking a little bit more shape. Okay, so that is all the two inch lengths of diamonds, the honeycomb smocking. And then I'm going to be working on the rest of this, which is three inches going down. So obviously the diamonds are gonna get bigger. just grab the side that have got the knots and very satisfyingly we are just going to pull those out. So that's what it's looking like right now. I, As I said I've still got to remove the, the blue water erasable pen but looking good. I will do that in a sec. I'm desperate to try it on the mannequin, see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just tried out. quite like the way that looks actually, just falling at the side there, just pinned it in at the waist. I keep sort of spreading it out like this. Not out. If you had like a hoop behind it or something. <laughs> what do you think? So you can see the smaller diamonds at the top increasing in scale and then it's obviously just got a hem at the bottom from the bottom of this linen fabric but yeah there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video today with the honeycomb smocking dress. I've made it into a dress on the mannequin, but really it's a huge old curtain with linen fabric and I think it looks wonderful. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what you would make with it. What would you do with it? Because I'd be really interested to know. All right then, if you enjoyed this video today, please do subscribe. Just give me a like um, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more content like this. All right, then take care of yourselves. Have a great week and I'll see you shortly. Bye.